Good afternoon, everybody. As promised, we are back up at Norfolk Lake. Camping on Robinson Point at Robinson Point Park. Compliments of the United States Army Corps of Engineers. This is one of my absolute favorite places on the planet. It doesn't get any clearer than this water right here. Conditions are perfect. Once again, we've got overcast skies. It's about 75 degrees out. We've got a little breeze. Creates just enough surface disturbance that I could almost throw a jerk bait, but I'm probably not going to. I've got two poles with me today and a pack full of goodies. Those of you that watch me regularly know that I love finesse. So yes, I've got my Whiskey River tied on weightless. I've got a head on wind. The wind's coming right at me out of the west. Due west is right over here. East behind, south down to my left. Um, so maybe we've got a southwest wind or a western wind. It's, it's more out of the southwest. Um, probably going to get some thunderstorms at some point today or this evening. And I have absolutely no idea what I have tied on to this. Ah, of course, a jig. So I'm going to go ahead and take that off. I don't know if I'm going to use that here. Normally I throw a jig from the boat, um, but when we have the, the size of the chunk rock that we have here, I don't. So I have a Revo SX. I have 12 pound braid down to, uh, I believe, a 10 or 12 pound Berkeley Vanish Gold, 100% fluorocarbon. And then I have a, uh, I think this is a new tech, I'm not 100% sure, but it's beaten up pretty good with a Berkeley Havoc Pit Boss Junior in uh, orange, greenish, brown pattern. Very natural, very much like the craws that you'd see in here. And I've got that tied on to a Buku Falcon, made in the United States. This is a seven foot, medium heavy. Um, it is fast, which is great. It'll handle a quarter to three quarter ounce lures, which if you know nothing else, you really want to have the, the weight of lure to match the rod. You don't want to throw more or less than what this rod calls for. And that's any rod. And then I have my workhorse, my beloved PAL Max 3D. This really has become the vehicle by which most of my finesse fish have been caught. It is a light, extra fast. It's got a, enough backbone to handle some fairly heavy fish. Um, with my finesse rod or reel, which is the Abu Garcia SX30. Now one thing that I've noticed I'm probably going to try within like the next few months, and I don't think it's been on the market very long, um, is the Abu Garcia Aura Finesse. It's the exact same price as this Aura SX. They're about $100 a piece. Not uh, ridiculously expensive. Um, plenty of meat to get the job done. It's relatively quick, which I like on finesse reels because a 581, which is what this one is, is going to pick up that slack rather quickly, which you want. Um, if your fish is running with this bait, uh, you don't want it to get away from you and shake this if it figures out that it's got something that's not a meal for it. That would be a small mouth. Hard fight. <laughs> Nothing like the fight of a smallmouth, you guys. Doesn't matter what size they are. That's just a fun, fun fish to catch. 
Whiskey River. On my mind. Love sectioning the back end of these baits. Alright, little one. Nice. First fish of the day. Little smallmouth. Well, after about five misses and one smallmouth, this bait is torn slam up. I've got maybe one or two more uses out of it. Maybe one, probably not two. But we're going to get as much as we can out of it. I've got a few more of these, not many. But trust and believe, I just ordered replenishments. So, the bite, let's talk about the bite for a second. This bite came off of me working this finesse, hopping it, finding my depth point where I got slack, which would be the bottom, probably about 25 feet down, and working it back up this little ledge. But what I did different this time, instead of dragging it like I would a Ned Rig, or instead of big swooping, I just did little pops with it, just constantly popping it. And uh, that drew enough attention to get a good, uh, good consistent bite. Let's see if that'll work again. Once is luck, twice is maybe three is a pattern. Until the fish decided to change that. There we go. Hmm. Cookie cutter, I think. Moving in about the same direction. Oh, well, maybe a little bit bigger. Gosh, it almost looks like the exact same one. But no. Beautiful, beautiful little fish. <laughs> okay, so now I have to know. I have to know how many fish I can take off of this ragged Whiskey River bait here. So this is the same one that caught us all of our fish yesterday that you guys saw on video. Um, and a couple from a, the dead GoPro. So, let's see. The sucker and six largemouth yesterday two smallies today so that's nine so off of this one whiskey river we've caught nine fish in two days and it is destroyed it's chewed up it's almost split in half um but i think i can get one more little guy uh -uh. cute Good afternoon, Jekyll Bates. How can I help you? Yes, it is. Looks like we've got a mayfly or a midge hatch going on out here. So I'm sure the Norfolk tailwaters and the trout will be jumping in the morning. I don't know what their uh, 
the dam's release schedule is, though. Come on, fish, just give me one more for the day. Got a couple of pair of geese coming around. That's pretty decent. <laughs> Honkers. It's a loon. You guys hear that? There is no finer way to close a day out, in my mind, than this right here. No better way at all. <laughs> there we go. Come on, fish. <laughs> Feels decent. I don't know what it is, but it's taking my drag out. It hasn't come up yet, though. Whoa. It just saw me. Woo! Biggin'. This is a good sign off fish, y'all. We'll take you. What do we got here? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, just pulled off. I have no idea if that was the large or smaller Kentucky spot. Son of a gun. Well. Well. Can't cuss. Mm. Man, that was a nice one. You know, when they get away, y'all, everybody says, oh, it was a five pounder, it was a three pounder, it was a seven pounder. That one was definitely a four pounder. All right. Not the same fish. <laughs> <laughs> oh, not the same fish at all, but we'll take you. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious, what are you doing on the end of my line, little green sunfish? <sighs> it's You're telling me it's time to go home, isn't it? Okay. I apologize if I'm not talking a whole lot. I've gotten really quiet because there are some huge bass that have been swimming up to this laydown and checking it out. I don't know if they're just cruising or if they're looking for food. But they are uh, they're pretty sizable. And if I can see them, I guarantee they can see me. So the more still that I sit, and the less that I talk, the better off we're going to be. I've even seen the pros and the elites take their shoes off, not run their trolling motors. They act like they're um, <laughs> C.A. Richardson, and they'll, uh, they'll use a push pole when they're coming into the flats, all so they can stay quiet. 
So that's about a half a dozen fairly sizable 15 inches or better that I've seen. Uh, last 15, 20 minutes. There are numerous fish cruising this. Oh, we got a snake coming. Sweet. Let's see where it goes. Looks like a northern van and water snake. It does not look like the poisonous variety, but I can't tell from that far out. Nor can I tell where it went. There it is. Very cool. It's just grooving around. Doesn't want a whole lot to do with me. Beautiful little snake. Well, I think it knows I'm here. <laughs> Definitely looking for food or a mate this time of the year. Very cool. I'm going to leave her alone and she's going to leave me alone. Off she goes. Have a good morning, little one. Sweet. First of the morning. There we go. Hey, a little bit. Easy. We'll put you back. Pretty little brown fish. That's a decent one. <laughs> ah, not, ah, not a keeper, but better than anything else, yeah, this morning. Good hook set. Come on out of there. Pretty little one. Very nice. We'll take you. Appreciate you. Very healthy. Very healthy. All right. Let's uh, let's get you back in the water. You have a good morning. Thanks for coming. Good times. That was a nice one. A little chunk. Just under a pound, but fun. There we go. There's one. Not bad, not bad. can still see that hopefully all right thank you little one good hard fight about a pound 
just at 12 inches. Going back. Well, we found the fish. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Back at it again. Last morning here. Got to pack up and head home today, unfortunately. I'd live on this lake, I think, if I could. Sure would be nice. Bass chasing right there. Let's see if I can capitalize on that. This is either going to be awesome or it's going to be a disaster. Simply because I have no idea how this is set. Not bad. <laughs> and I'm on. Capitalized on that. That's a decent fish. Oh, ate it like it wanted it too. Holy cow. Look at this one, y'all. Good morning, good morning, good morning on a Jekyll Bates S crank. That's a hoss right there. Goodness gracious, y'all. Look at here. Don't you don't you do it. To get this in my hand, buddy. Wow. There's that Jekyll Bay S crank. Not bad. It's a shad pattern imitation. And looky looky on the size of this bag. <laughs> Woo! Holy monster! That's a sea monster right here if I ever saw one. So I might have to get a weight on this one. Four. Showing three, four. If y'all can see that. Not bad. This bass has been caught before. We're gonna get one more picture. Oh, she's a pretty girl, pretty girl. Let's let her go. All right, sweet girl. Thank you for coming and playing. Off she goes. And folks, that's how to capitalize when you see them chasing. That's how you do it. Now that fellow was in here topwater fishing. But when you see him chasing like that and you know you've got a decent shad pattern. Good grief. So let's uh let's show off this again. One of my own creations of colors. Woo! Let's get another one. Out of breath. That was exciting. Oh, <laughs> did you all see that bite? Right, I chased her. <laughs> That's a wiper, y'all. Be 
nice white bass my first up here uh -uh -uh -uh. stop it little knuckleheads on fire